Sluggish PC performance and slow boot times can often be attributed to 100% disk usage. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to quickly remedy this problem so that you can get back to doing what you were doing before you needed me. This is Nico Knows Tech. Hey, wait a minute. Nico Knows Tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech. Number one channel with the news on check. 100% disk usage is caused by three particular reasons. One of them is superfetch, indexing, or malware. And if you think that you may have malware, check out this. Now, if you don't have malware, then we need to assume that this is being caused by a system that is not benefiting from superfetch. What superfetch is, is it's preloading what it thinks that your normal tasks are and preparing them in the RAM in the CPU. On a modern machine with lots of CPU power and lots of RAM, then this is probably okay. But in some cases, it's not because if you use a, and access a lot of different files, superfetch and indexing can become bogged down with way too many tasks than it was designed for. And this is often a problem. So first, I'm going to show you how to disable superfetch. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with this military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. Now to disable Superfetch, you're going to need to open up the services menu. Now you'll hit the win key plus R and then type services dot msc you can also click the search bar and then type in services and then from here you want to run this as administrator and in the services menu we were going to look for a specific service called sysmain this used to be called SERP superfetch but now it is called sysmain it is right here and you'll right click on it click properties and then if you've seen it i've already disabled this You'll click to disabled, and then if it's running, click stop, and then click apply. After you reboot, Superfetch will be disabled. Now, Superfetch can be good on certain machines, so if, but however, if you're experiencing 100% disk usage, then you're using up so much of the system memory that the system is having to cache a lot of it onto the hard disk drive, which is causing it to constantly access the disk instead of what you want to do with it. So this is a nice thing that you can do. And if you notice that this doesn't help any, and um, that this actually hurts your performance, which you probably won't even notice, you can come back here and re-enable it. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to disable indexing. There's a couple of ways that you can do this, but you want to open up Task Manager, and if you have several drives, if you, like for example, I have several drives here. If I have 100% disk usage on D or C, then I would want to go to that specific drive. A real quick way that I like to do it, so you can go through the indexing options here by searching for indexing options. And then you can go to the different advanced sections here. But the easier way to go specifically to the drive you want is right through File Explorer. And I'll go to this PC. And then I'll right click on the C drive because assuming that the C drive has 100% disk usage, we're going to go there. Now, right here, when we open up properties, you'll see allow files in this drive to have its context indexed for additional file properties. What indexing is, is it is a supplemental service to the search feature, which is through here. So, or through here, if I want to search for a file, um, it's going to be a lot faster. So it basically is forming a database of all the things that you will be searching for in the computer to make searches faster. However, sometimes this can actually cause the system to slow down. If you don't have a system that has a lot of extra resources, indexing can actually hurt you. So through here, we can actually uncheck here and then click apply. And this can take a while and then you'll apply changes to C drive subfolders and folders and files rather. And then when this is done, 
This can take a while. Now you'll ignore all because some of these are files that cannot be accessed. And that's good because if you can't access them, neither can malware. Microsoft does protect certain system files where even your antivirus can't search for them. This will ignore all. And this is going to go through. When this is done, reboot your system and then 100% disk usage should be resolved. And if you don't have malware or something else going on, then these are the only two things that really cause it. Another reason that sometimes can cause 100% disk usage is your power options might be set to like balanced, but I haven't seen that happen a whole lot. But if you do think that it might be a power options issue after you've tried these, check my other video on unlock CPU cores, which you can find on my channel, which will show you how to make a custom uh, power option for your computer. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this as a benefit to you. If you like it, please hit like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and you can also support me on Patreon. It helps me a lot. It helps out, makes a lot of things possible for the channel. And please comment and tell me how this worked out for you because it really helps me know what's working, what's not working, and also what to put on the channel next. I hope you liked it, and I will see you next time.